Hey guys, it's Matt Goldsman from Gamers Cast, and here is my review of Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games 2010. Alright, the game supports 1 to 4 players, and you have a variety of events to choose from. And you can choose characters to pick from from across the Mario and Sonic verse. However, I'm sorry to say that the game feels like your typical Wii minigame compilation. With the exception of curling, however, which is actually pretty fun and requires a good amount of skill to master. Alright, now let's run through a few of these. Now keep in mind that every single one of the sports in this disc uses motion controls. Yes, gimmicky, gimmicky motion controls. Now here we have snowboarding cross, which for some reason allows you to do tricks during the event. I'm sorry, I know it's a video game and all, but the one time anyone did a trick in snowboard cross, they lost and crashed. So why on earth would they put it here? Haven't we learned anything from Lindsay Jacobellis? Another problem is, if you miss a gate, you still keep going instead of being disqualified, making it even more unrealistic to a degree that's just intolerable in my opinion. All in all, the controls are decent, but the game's a bit too easy and doesn't feel like it takes much skill at all. Ski Cross is the exact same thing with the exact same problems, except this time you use your nunchuck along with your Wii Remote to simulate two skis. Alright, now skiing downhill. Same thing. You just lean back and forth to go through the gates. You miss a gate, you just get a time deduction, you don't dis get disqualified. And it's just mildly amusing motion controls as always. Speed skating, incredibly, incredibly boring. I literally just shook one hand for the whole time and it barely even cracked a smile playing it. Actually, I could just say the same thing for pretty much every event in this game, other than, like I said, curling and the bobsleigh. Bobsleigh was actually somewhat mildly amusing, but, like I said, same old gimmicky motion controls, just leaning left and right while holding the controller against your body. And saying this one was the one of the only mildly amusing one isn't exactly the biggest testament, but this game can take what it gets. To make matters even more gimmicky, the game supports the balance board. Oh boy. This is not going to be pretty. Yeah, you can see my point. And then, of course, is the dream events, which is the way out there never could happen things, but I've gotta say, being able to snowboard on Radical Highway from Sonic Adventure 2 is awesome. Gotta say, I love that. But other than that, this game gets the ultimate score of mediocrity. A 7.5 out of 10.